Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The uh, last Call of Duty, arguably, like last year's Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, Modern Warfare. A pretty spectacular Very good. game. Yeah. Uh, in single player, fantastic. The multiplayer, fantastic. The Warzone, fantastic. The year before that, I believe we didn't even have a single player. And so it's like, oh, what's been going on there? Mm-hmm. Didn't have- mm-hmm. And so then uh, it was like, no single player. Single player campaign out last year was fantastic. Come to this, high expectations. This is interesting. Black Ops is generally like a pretty interesting, cool narrative world to jump into. Yep. Which one of you should I start with? Uh, I feel like I know where Pete's going to go with this, so I'm going to take lead just to say I <laughs> had... I love it. I... I did, I did not love it. I agree with your sentiment before that this story is Man, stupid. Um, you are typically. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I just I just raised the audio for the audience, and then he was like, "Bad, I know." Or something. <laughs> yeah, great, <laughs> perfect time. Uh, but you are typically an '80s genre fanatic. Yeah, I would say. totally. Call of Duty fan. Yeah, I'm a Call of Duty fan. This uh, is the ideal game for you, arguably. Yeah, it should be. Um, I have enjoyed the Black Ops campaigns and their sort of fun, silly, twisting history, having a bit of fun with. Uh, a bit of fun with a bit of <laughs> Vietnam. Fun, uh, yeah, a bit of Vietnam, violence. a bit of mind uh, <laughs> brainwashing, all that sort of stuff. Um, I will say, it, admittedly, I've said this before, like, I don't love the single player Call of Duty experience. Mm-hmm. Like, I find the narrow corridors, the sort of pop up shooting gallery style of it, very at, at odds with how I enjoy the multiplayer. Um, specifically, now I'm a big fan of Warzone. It's like the way I engage and have shootouts and stuff like that is very different from the pop and go kind of like just super over the top explosive kind of action in single player story wise um this delivered in the sense that i expected it to be bombastic and stupid and bounce around but i would say i was disappointed with the fact that the settings were basically going okay we're taking an 80s aesthetic but then we're going back to vietnam and we're going back to like cold war russia uh and like these i'm sorry not back to but like Like, in in the 80s but in the 80s in places where it still looks like that now yeah. yeah yeah there's that and they have locations that have been visited both in black ops games and other call of duty games i want to have a guess at like like as a again like cuba and that sort of area like i've seen these a lot of these locations a lot of these enemy types where would you have liked the game to have taken i mean miami look, 80s miami <laughs> no seriously Florida. it's a multiplayer map 80s miami is a multiplayer map that i genuinely thought might have been there could have been a cool I really, I in the u.s thought, that would have yeah. been doing something fun yeah. without spoiling things there is a very clever mission uh, or it's a very interesting mission that does take you to some interesting locations or sort of shooting shooting areas within a larger environment i've broken nick's brain we can talk about it a bit later where yeah. no we we said it's spoilers. spoilers 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 right there is a facility that you go to oh the american like, yeah. world which yeah. is a huge bunker yeah. that they've built american towns inside of kind of like a training facility for oh, russia okay. to yes. invade. Yep, yep. it's actually that's amazing great. In that's the, like cool. it's this huge facility and then you go in there and it's like 1950s uh, oh no no it is the 80s it, it is yeah, the 80s. it's like, it's yeah, like but like a full little where town like, oh, yeah. built- is it like um celebration in Florida? Uh, I think I know yes. what you're getting at. Kind of like um, the, the Disneyland, what do they call it? The, uh, yeah, uh, 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 that weird kind of perfect Pleasantville. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. It's, like, it's like the town square from Back to the Future 2. <laughs> yeah. It is, okay. yeah. and it is all under lights in a huge bunker. So that was a clever level that I was like, that was cool. I thought the whole game was going to be really engaged that kind of like uh, fun. Uh, fun's not the right word. But then to, to have a lot of these like very dark sort of, uh, yeah, as I said, going back to Vietnam a couple of times and, and that sort of stuff. I didn't think it was necessary. I thought they could have been clever with the story. Um, yeah, and, and, just, sorry, and, and overall... S- sorry, no, you go over. Top line is that I, I enjoyed the story while I played it. I think it really lets itself go in the third act. Uh, and the third and final act, I think it really drops the ball. Um, I had a lot more fun with it leading up to that. Um, and I will never replay it again as I'm... Is, Typical with COD campaigns and yeah. And so just quickly, like a broad overview of that story is that um, you start the game and you're playing as some of the Black Ops teams that we've seen before. I think you play as Mason at the beginning. Yeah, uh, the you do one. some missions as Mason. Yeah, yeah. and um, there is a Russian bad guy called Perseus, very mysterious, and he has stolen um, the access to a bunch of American nukes, the like access codes to a bunch of nukes. And then you then... Cr- uh, 
A new yep. agent joins? Yeah, like you get put in the shoes of a new agent. You pick um, uh, whether they're male or female or non-binary. Uh, you fill out some details about like their tendencies, which I, I liked that of like you yeah, fill out like, that. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Did you perk? Yeah, well. and it, it never came up again, really. Yeah. But like, yeah, you fill out the like stat sheet and some of the perks of like if you have a violent, like on your report, it's like you have a violent tendency, which means 25% more death. I actually enjoyed that you got to double up. You got two of those so perks. Nice. Yeah. And the one I picked was that I don't flinch as hard when I get shot which is a huge gripe I have with COD is that the amount of that damage hit you know the vignette all that kind of stuff drives me mental it's like oh great I can try and minimize that bit yeah. more health not have to worry about it so. yeah I definitely I liked that stuff and then you you basically go and hunt down Perseus um you're sent by Reagan um as part of the like black ops team of like Reagan's like you need to go out and, and get this guy and then there's a lot of like flashbacks Here to Nam um, and your team sort of like trying to track down Perseus the we'll get to the twist I guess a bit later but the first three three quarters of the game I I was like the story's fine it felt way more just like I think it's embracing an era of America uh, the Reagan era mm. where it was like perfect America in yeah. the eyes of like a lot of Americans. Um, very debatable about whether or not that's perfect America, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it felt even more like just fucking America hoorah. This than, pumping. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah. Even though they're trying to put a bit of a, I wouldn't say ironic spin, but they're like, oh, this is a very tongue in cheek look at it. I'm with you. It didn't come off as, I wasn't looking for like black comedy or humor or like things sort of, but I was looking for it to just be a mm. little more, a bit more forced tongue in cheek than it actually was. It took itself too seriously again. Uh, which like, is yeah, like the, the main guy who looks like Robert Redford is always wearing sunglasses and always smoking a cigarette to and the then point always throwing a cigarette halfway through. Um, to the point that when you do an infiltration of like a, like a KGB style uh, headquarters and you go in, which is actually the mission I want to touch on that I really enjoyed yeah. the most. It felt kind of like golden eye days. You had objectives. You're not really shooting anyone until the mission obviously yeah. goes haywire at the end. But you do a part where that Robert Redford character, you have to steal some uniforms and he puts his uniform on, turns to you and he's still wearing his giant he's still wearing, yeah. Yeah. Like, those are And like American his huge scar in his cheek. Like he's, away. Totally. I was like, you look like Elvis. Yeah. Take yeah. him off. Yeah. It was ridiculous. It's like Brad Pitt and Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, but that, that's a funny thing that, to bring up because the tone of Inglorious Bastards makes that whole film work. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas they don't have that tone in this. No. And it yeah. just feels... And if anything, like they do the opposite. Stupid. So you've got these arguing characters all at a safe house in between missions and you've got some of the most forgettable or Ugh. at least hateable main characters because you've got Woods from the first one who's got the beard who swears a lot and he's mm. like the na the Nam vet who's like, I'm really angry, I shoot stuff. And it's like, okay, fine. Then you've got Mason who was from the first Black yeah. Ops, which you was as him. In Sam, F Sam Worthington yeah. voiced the character. You were basically like a, a faceless protagonist with Sam Worthington's voice who could be totally disposed of at the end of that because there's a twist about who Mason was. And then he comes back as part of the team. And yeah. he's <laughs> so generic and so unlikable. So and you're like, don't yeah. make a team of people. Then you have the bald guy with the glasses glasses who's like Just I'm the angry, angry leader from yeah, the CIA yeah, yeah. who was in the old Black Ops who was the one getting angry at Mason so they're all buddies now and then you have new Robert Redford who is basically bald guy wearing a wig with AB headers <laughs> and then at one point they're all kind of like and Park don't forget Park the woman so yeah, Park the woman is the only it's character arcade, I cared about. An arcade room. That's very. This is the, this is the, is the thing. Yeah. This is the 180s <laughs> bit that I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You go around and play on the. The only good joke in the entire thing is he walks in and like grabs one of the dummies and is about to garrot it, and then realizes it's not a person. And he drops it. He's like, not a word to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a few extra characters that come into that. Uh, there is a base. You go back to a headquarters where I think there is a lot more to unpack if you really were into camp into the campaign. Black Ops is very good at of, like the previous Black Ops game hide a lot of stuff cryptically in the game in the single player if you if you get the right amount of evidence or sorry if you found pickups they would unlock things for you in the campaign um, I didn't I imagine you guys didn't either I didn't really explore that safe house I didn't talk to many people in that yeah I mean. didn't okay right yeah because like so my experience with Call of Duty campaigns is I play them all through on veteran I want them to be like as as hard as they can be because I know they're short mm-hmm and they're not typically that hard on veteran anyway, but it's just like, because you're just finding the next checkpoint, right? Yeah. And then it's all about set pieces. I don't care about the story, really. I feel like Modern Warfare had, was, was the first time since the first Modern Warfare where I was like, oh, cool. There's like 
a, a story being told here that's actually being reasonably well presented to yeah. you. Mm. Whereas this felt like the, the, all of the Call of Duties between where they paid Kevin Spacey to be in this thing. And the only bit I remember from that game is running around with a knife at the end or yeah. you lose your arm or something. It's like, uh, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Mm. And this, this again had like, it didn't have set pieces like that except for the um, mission in the Kremlin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and because th this is like. Wait, was it in the Kremlin? I believe it's yeah, in the Kremlin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I just, yeah. You didn't see the exterior. I didn't. No. I just yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it in the yeah, cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I wasn't listening. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and Black Ops, yes, does the, like, what do the numbers mean, Mason? That kind of bullshit. Mm. And I was like, okay, I'm going to look around this, the safe house to try and find stuff. I interacted with the computer that I ended up having to interact with later mm. that didn't do anything for me when I interacted when I wanted to. Each mission has um hidden evidence. It's not even hidden. Yeah. It, it's evidence. And, and yes, if you find other evidence in the missions that is useful for solving these other two things that I thought were going to be a bigger part of the story and they just kind of change They're two a non-cutscene Two optional missions, yeah. Yeah. essentially, is the way to look at it. Two optional missions that have an ability for you to pick out a puzzle at the start of it, which is yeah. either deciphering a code or picking some um, double agents. And then that has really, I don't think really any effect on the mission itself. I only did one of them, which was the picking the double agents. Yeah. And then I did the mission and maybe it was trying, if I, because I picked them, maybe it was telling me I was giving me more waypoints mm. in the mission. But the mission itself was like a spec ops you went to a, a large map and you had to kill someone. You had to run around and it, kill them. It didn't. The people that you pick from those photos just get eliminated by other operatives. You're yeah, right. just there for the main dude. The, can so I, the Sorry, can I really jump in here? It's this great little uh, set piece where it's basically you have a bunch of photos of all these people who are agents with code names and the evidence you get is like who, which was in which city and who of them has traveled to which city. So line it up. My one... I, I'm assuming because it does randomize for other for other players. My one had all the code names of, uh, you know, Stoneman and Juggler and something like that. <laughs> and out of the like five guys and three women that were in the lineup, mine were like, person number one, she is worried about doing this and that. And person number two, she is worried that the agency will not know who she is. And the third one was like, she is an agent that is doing that. I'm like, three there's only three women to pick from. I was like, oh, <laughs> click, click, click. <laughs> Nailed it. And I, I had got all the evidence, but I'm like, you hadn't thought about that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, the the story takes place like any, um, or the, the mission's structure is like, here's a different location per mission. Um, they try to do some clever things in this game, particularly in the, the last scene, a classic Vietnam thing. It's like, <laughs> they do Bioshock. So yeah, they, the thing so, that shits me the most about this game is it's like it's plodding along as a pretty average COD shooter. Yep. Every story beat that's like almost interesting turns out to not be interesting, like making a character that's got different skills and stuff doesn't really affect the game. Right. And then... But but as they're going through, the, as you're getting towards the end of the game, more and more they're like um, Perseus, like... Perseus, someone has been working with Perseus who knows something about it. And also constantly you, you characters are talking to you, particularly Robert Redford impersonator. He's talking to you about like, remember Vietnam, remember yep. this stuff we did together, blah, blah, blah. And as you're going through that, you're like, why do you keep saying this stuff? To also, me? like, narrative, <laughs> as a narrative device. Again, I, also, I just need to prefix again, like, I had a lot of fun with this campaign because it was dumb. But there, some of the narrative devices, the, one of the first missions you do is like, hey, we need to get some information of that mission we did in Vietnam. Do you remember the mission in Vietnam? Yeah. <laughs> remember it yeah. really hard. You and then you go to Vietnam and shoot a bunch of people. And then at the end, he's yeah. like, Good that you remember that trip to Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Then, yeah. yeah. But it, and it's, after it's like, it's, 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 it's almost it's done. totally. It's like it's, it's that close to being as ham fisted. Like. <laughs> and the, the moment you do that first mission, you then talk to one. If you do talk to everyone in the warehouse, yeah. I talked to a guy and he's like, "You don't know what it's like in Vietnam." And I was like, "Yeah, I do. I was there." And he's like, "Oh yeah, you were there. That's right." Like he, yeah. I knew from the start. You, you, yeah, and, I wasn't sure. there. Yeah. And the, the, and then, do you want to talk the twist or? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But do oh, you sorry. want to? Yeah. So spoiler warning again, just in case someone's just joined. <laughs> yeah. It's a spoiler yeah. warning. Leave for spoilers for Call of Duty campaign. Um, so you've you play through this mission. You're pursuing Perseus, and um, it turns out that the character that you've been playing, Bell. Uh, I tried to call myself because you can give yourself a name and there's like, your code name is Bell. So I was like, ding dong. And you can't use dong because dong is a huge... Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's a penis? So I'm ding dang Bell. Um, 
So Ding Dang Bell, <laughs> turns out, was a Russian operative who got shot in the first mission that you play at an yep. airport. Yeah. Um, and pulled you out of a car. You actually see them get shot in the first mission. Yeah. yeah. So then it was it was that character that got pulled out of the car and then... Um, and then brainwashed effectively by the CIA to be a, an American operative. Any memories of Vietnam, uh, an implant of Robert Redford. Because that's all you need sorry. to be an American brainwashed. It's just, you went to NAM. Yeah, yeah. To like, yeah. yeah. And so, and the, the idea is that they've been trying to get information out of you. Yeah. Um, and but also not let you remember what's, what's gone on. And the way that they, uh, before... Uh, as you're going into this mission, there, there is a um, or maybe no, it's actually just at the end of this mission. So the way that you you properly get this revealed to you is you you play the Vietnam mission and uh, it, like Robert Redford is narrating what you're doing. And I actually liked this mission. I was like, yeah, this is cool. I don't think it did. It didn't go a hundred percent there. It went like seventy percent there is what yeah. I wanted. Nothing I haven't seen other video games mess with. They yeah. do the thing where it's like his narration is telling you what to do, and then if you don't do it, it's like you went left. Yeah. So no, he's like, like you, you, you went left. You, la you, you landed. Picked up, you picked up an M16, and you don't. And he goes, well, maybe it was a different gun. <laughs> yeah. and, but then he's like, you went. It through, was all you, a dream. Yeah. And he's like, you went through here, and you took a right to get to the bunker and you take a left and he's like no go back and take a right and then you hear him go okay just get like she for, i was playing uh, like my uh, my character woman so it's like she she's not doing it right okay reload the scenario and then you go back to the beginning of the thing and now things are slightly different and and then it's like they've they've changed the way that instead of uh, your team you landed with your team it's like your team have been wiped out and you're it's the only person there and everything's on around. fire like yeah. and then you run it again and if you don't do what he says then you you go back and as you keep and i kept I deliberately think, not and no, is that the you, act of brainwashing you no, no this, that's no, them, this is, so this is them trying to find, unlock the memory the that you have in, in the bunker of knowing where Perseus is. Yeah. If you do everything he tells you, you are doing this again. With a, oh, you like, are. But how? Like okay. with a. How are they extracting this information? Oh, they've, they've put a giant... Oh, they've got a giant syringe. syringe. You're yeah. lying, you're lying yeah. in bed gotcha. at gotcha. telling them, and, yeah. but you're yeah. playing it through as an experience. And there's this red bunker door that is like the thing that you... The metaphor that you parable. need to open <laughs> yeah. to get through. Um, and then as you as you keep going through um, and you're breaking more and more of the like memory, mm. then that door... Like he's like, you need to go through that door. That door starts slamming down in the jungle like in front of you and stuff. Yeah, and the right. level starts changing around you. And I was like, yeah, this is... This is cool. Like, I like what it's doing here. Mm. Um, and then you finally have to go through the door and whatever. And you go you go into this, like, laboratory thing. Where before, you keep before you get to the, yeah, yeah. The, the crux of it all, it was, it was a cool design mission, yes. But, again, playing it on veteran, it was an awful mission for that. Yes. Yeah, because right. it's like, oh, I just got killed by something random. And, like, the point of that mission totally, is to yeah. move through it quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for yeah. me, having to methodically pick off the, the start is, like, this really open space with 100 dudes in it. And it's like, this is just really dull to because I know what you're trying to do. And yeah. you're, I'm being stopped by the game from experiencing this at the pace that I need and there's to nothing, for it to there's, be interesting. And for, uh, because it's because you're running a memory, yeah. it's like you should Why have just been die? impervious to damage. Like totally. you should have just been... It could have like, been a great story be a story moment that then they've gone, we just have to let you pull a trigger and shoot people. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's yeah. like, because it doesn't do that well. And then it does detract from it being a very, as I said, very Stanley Parable kind of moment yeah. where it's like, this is messing with me as a game. I'm enjoying that. And I'm seeing the, the little moments of brilliance in it. But I, yeah, yeah eventually... They think and they freeze everyone, and you just run through it. Oh, they're like yeah. they fast forward you through it. You're like I could have used that a few moments earlier. <laughs> yeah. But um, then when and then when you get through it, and you finally go through the door, and then you yeah, sort of reveal, you realize what's going on, and then the Robert Redford character it basically reveals to you everything that's happened. You were this person. We brainwashed you. Blah blah blah, and has been using the Bioshock Manchurian yeah. Candidate like phrase we've got another wow. job for you I think. Yeah, yeah it's time to get to work time to get to work yeah, yeah. and yeah. and then you realize and it flashes back throughout the game of him in sunglasses with a cigarette and every single time it's time to get to work, yeah, to work. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you realize oh that's actually been this trigger phrase yeah which um, and right. then he's got the sheer goal to be like so 
where's the bad guy? Go on the last big mission? And you're kind of like, yes or no. And so there are, I mean, we can choose not to fully spoil everything. No, fully spoil. We have yeah, yeah, spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can then basically follow them to glory and eliminate Perseus, the bad guy. Who you either yeah. side with Americans. You side with Americans, or you can choose to betray them and tell them that, you know, and ambush them somewhere else. And um, yeah, I will say that I did the, I thought, no, no, I'm going to play the game it's meant to be played. That's how video games have trained me, adventure yep. style. I'm like, I will finish the game the way the developers intended. There is a cutscene before you go on the main mission where they all just like, there's a monologue from that Robert Redford character who's on an aircraft carrier flicking his cigarette going like, America just does things right sometimes. <laughs> and, and they they're literally slow-mo walk, all those stupid generic white action heroes mm. yeah. walking onto an aircraft carrier that I don't think the chick character is even there she's back at base because she <laughs> couldn't come on that and I was like I hate you all I hate you all I wish I didn't choose this I you, cho I you chose side with the Americans and and then played the most uninspired last oh, so last awful. mission yeah, just <laughs> that just kind of ends and then because any game that requires multiple endings or, or lots of variables the ending then has to be like so this happened with this this happened with this. Yeah, it's a kind of happened. It's a kind of thing where they go like, "There's 50 endings to this game, and there's two endings to this game, and then did you do that mission that way? And then a, it's a line of dialogue over the same piece of like." <laughs> and we never, but also, we I caught all those three women agents. Thanks. <laughs> <to> you, <laughs> but literally yeah. that. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. oh, yeah. I straight up did not even like know what the fuck they were talking about in that. Like all of those people just blended so much in my mind. I'm just like. Who are any of these people? Yeah. Like, yeah. what What yeah. was this? Yeah. But w when you saw, I did the same thing. Pete did the same thing. We all sided with the thing. I went back and replayed it, oh, yeah. which we all did. Yeah. So you and I had relatively different experiences with that, where you pick, you want to betray the Americans because you're angry. You choose, to, you choose to tell them not where the bad guy technically is hiding, uh, and you can give them a false location. You do a different mission in a different location altogether. Mm. That is one set of variables. The next variable, I believe, is that you can then choose to radio your Russians and pretend you were with them. The but I never saw so, that variable. So maybe, yeah, so maybe you didn't do enough like find all the all the well, intel maybe you didn't or something. Do yeah. any, did you do but, any side missions? No. So yeah. maybe that yeah, might, maybe okay, it's doing yeah, right. those. But it's, that, I mean, it's, it's weird from a story perspective that that's what's triggered with that because don't know. you yeah. do more for the Americans than the Russians radio yeah. you I, in I the CIA that's base. actually it, but I'm just saying there's the... Totally. It's just... It's, a, style. it's probably right and it's a weird device. But basically you're picking like America or Russia when you wake up and if you pick Russia and have obviously done the right Something. things during the story, a radio is calling and there's like a countdown of like right, 25 okay. seconds and you sprint across to it and you while like, Robert Redford's like standing next to you and you go like, speak in Russian. That's for done. Or something. <laughs> and then you go... Boom. <laughs> and, then, and then you go, cool, let's go to that mission we're going to do. You turn Amazing. up at the mission and everyone's there. They're like, there's nothing here. Yeah. What happened in your... So, oh, yeah. uh, so I was expecting an ambush. I was sure. expecting them to get shot. Yeah. And they're like, there's nothing here. You brought us out in the middle of nowhere while Perseus sets off the nukes. And I went, yeah, you're so dumb to trust me. And then uh, and then Robert Redford just pulled out a gun and shot me. And then I lay on the ground and they were like... And I hear him talk to whoever of Mason and go like, do you want to load the body up? It's like, nah, fuck it, let her rot. And then just like walked off. And I was like, oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> that right. was the end of the game. So, so we got kind of a satisfying ending. Oh, it was so satisfying. I highly recommend, like, again, if you haven't... Don't recommend studied. playing it, but Can if you... you oh, I have a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon... Just go back to the main This menu. is what everyone does, and yeah. I, I, I think there's still at least a couple of variations of endings we could probably still try. I implore everyone to try that as well. And uh, as I said, I... Uh, this made it all worth it for me, essentially. The biggest spoiler on top of all of that, with two levels to it, is that you can choose to then ambush them. And it's like, give signal for ambush. He goes like, nah. yeah. And then suddenly Russians come out everywhere. And they so start shooting stupid. everyone. And they're like, oh, God. And you are on the bad guy's side all of a sudden. And you get to shoot all the agents that come out. <laughs> And not Way down time stuff. <laughs> slows every yep. time you That's hit one great. of these characters. Mason Woods. Uh, I I did I felt bad for the girl that I actually love. Is it like the Pops. start of a like an Pops. 80s TV show where they turn around but then they die? <laughs> <laughs> there's a rocket launcher. <laughs> there's a rocket launcher flash to white, so it like pushes them down the map. So yeah, right. Yeah. Way to yeah. Them, rather than being right. In but front when of you when you get one in the crosshairs and pull the trigger, you get sniper elite style single bullet travels Beautiful. all the way there. Oh, and, good. And then it hits them and they go like, good. Oh, oh that's and what I And the wanted. game is telling you like, what have you done? And I'm like, yes. I even I even like threw the difficulty up to recruit 
the second time I did it yep. and sprinted at them and just stabbed them all to death. <laughs> That's awesome. And it was so satisfying. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. so I will kill leave. all the... All, so we don't, kill Robert Redford and, yeah. and so everyone. So we don't ruin everything for everyone. I, just ruin everything, no, I still right? enjoy... I still think there was one weird bit of dialogue that happened in that ending that left me with a scratching my head a little bit. I'll spoil it. If it! We literally spoiled everything. There's no point to do a spoiler if we No, but don't. if I watched it, I would have watched this for spoilers and it's not even that interesting. So I'll just leave it out there and be like, there was one line that made a very right, confusing, okay. convoluted story that I was like, oh. No, I, I know, think. I assume I know what it is. Yeah, but and it was I, like, I feel like it was the, something. No, nah, uh, it was the, per, it's Perseus, uh, after you kill Robert Redford, Perseus goes like, these stupid Ameri arrogant Americans think the Perseus could be just one man. No, he says, and to think they thought I was Perseus. Yeah, but he, he is Perseus. He doesn't talk about a one man kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, he does, he does. He goes that I was Perseus, as if Perseus could be just one, one man. One person, yeah. He is Perseus, 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 but Perseus, Perseus is an is idea. Bra oh, okay, I thought yeah. there might have been a, a moment of being like, maybe if you go through and do more evidence no. and find something out, you no. might find... Yeah, he's Perseus. saying that, like, I'm Perseus, you're Perseus. Because, like, it's a... It's a, um, a rogue group of yeah, Russians. Yeah. Okay, right. It's, oh, not, it's not the Kremlin yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, let's nuke yeah. Europe. Yeah. It's it's this group of yeah. radicals. Yeah, that, that, nuke, that nuke Europe with American, with American bombs. Yeah, it yeah. looked like Americans yeah. did it. So, uh, again, the reason I had more fun with this is because it is shorter. Yeah. Like, as a COD campaign, I felt like one of the shorter style ones. So, I think that left a less of a sour taste in my mouth. Um, yeah, it was like a two-nighter for me kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I said I finished in two settings. Um, three very quick things. One, the very, very ending of the game of like the good ending where uh, you are on the cliff and you're on the cliff with Robert Redford and he walks you out on the cliff and he's looking around and he's like, it's such a beautiful view, isn't it nice out here? And I'm like, well... Someone's going to die right now. Yep. And then literally wearing sunglasses, smoking a cigarette, flicks a cigarette. Like, I'm not kidding. He fucking flicks a cigarette every cutscene. It's yeah. ridiculous. He does also say, like, that Arctic air, it's beautiful out here. And he flicks it. And he like, flicks it. It's the 80s, yeah. but come on. Yeah. Uh, and then he turns around and then he's like, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry it has to be this way or whatever. And pulls out a gun. And then you pull it again at the same time. And you both sh you both fire and it cuts to black before you see what happens. Yeah. So it's like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, it's just dumb. Um, the <laughs> second thing is that... I, the thing that rubbed me the wrong way in terms of like the the morals of this game and I know it's like a Call of Duty game but it, it did have this constant pervasive thing of like they are the team that do something uh, like Beyond we, the we need to break the like, rules to uphold the rules kind yep, of thing yep. yeah. and it's like that's the constant thing is like yeah, like they even attack a guy at one point and threaten to throw him off a roof and yeah. he's like you Americans have rules and it's like no, they fucking don't. That's the whole point of uh, like American imperialism is that yeah. they don't actually they're above have all rules. They yes. think they're above it all. Yeah. And the and the narrative of this story of being like, well, sometimes you just have to break those rules. It's like, you motherfucker, every single war <laughs> you have broken the rules. That's all you do, America, is break <laughs> the rules and think that they don't apply to you. So it's very strange for this game to take this high and mighty approach yeah. to that where yeah. it's just like, which, oh, again, which again reflects like, 80s America. Totally sure, the mentality of that, but they don't stick the landing because no. it, it it just feels like they believe it. Yeah, there's not that no, they're making there's no ironic lens, okay. or yes. there's no yeah, there's no. Uh, as I said, that tongue in cheek isn't there enough to be like we're self aware of what we're doing here yeah, and that we yeah. are parroting you know all those Robert Redford films that with a bit of Rambo and a little bit of everything else. Like I don't want it to go into full blown parody, but I feel like it needs to push that envelope just a little I mean, bit further. Like, the, the, because we keep saying Robert Redford. If you don't know the reference, it's Spy Game, mm. and the thing that the plot of Spy Game spoilers for Spy Game um, <laughs> is, is that Robert Redford is basically it's his last day in the CIA and he feels like he has contributed over the course of his career to the downfall of a lot of the world thanks to this pervasive idea that America knows what's best for your country and he has trained people to do that as well Brad Pitt is a character that he has trained in his likeness how to do this he finds out that Brad Pitt has been captured I think it's in China mm, um, yeah. and and he uses his last day in the CIA to basically manipulate the CIA in very subtle like spycraft cool kind of ways to 
release Brad Pitt to get him released and to finally like do something good with his career, like to, to contribute to the world. And it's a real, it's a real commentary on the idea that like the CIA and the, the tone of America is that we know what's best for you. And he's like, I have, I, I believed in that and it was wrong. And this game, a career in it is not good. Like totally, a full it's career not, it, you are, you are not, not actually good. helping. You yeah. are harming. And that this, this game needed something like that at the end to be that commentary and it just didn't come and so therefore it just that's why to me even though it was less like booyah like yeah let's go fuck them up <clears throat> it felt the most out of all the call of duties to be like america yeah because yeah, yeah um because it, that blindness i suppose narrative structure wise as well the jumps in time with two days later four days later three hours Very later good. 20 minutes later yeah. felt comical by yeah. the end yeah. i was like what like i lost track after the second one so like stop <laughs> like this computer is oh, it's gone that way again um <laughs> really we're gonna go to calls and no 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 no, no calls we're, we're oh cool late. so then we heaps, should it's heaps 10 it's, 11. Yeah. <laughs> heaps late so we should quickly bounce through the fact that uh the regular multiplayer is there i've played a little bit of it i assume you would be talking a lot of about Warzone next week. I'll move, yeah, I'll move to that really quickly and just be like, the multiplayer is fun. Um, I've kind of had my fill of uh, COD multiplayer, so I might dabble for a little bit more. I want to check out the other's modes a little bit more that I mentioned the other day, uh, Dirty Bomb and all that stuff. Zombies is great. Again, they've reworked Zombies to go back to the original with like Daimashtina, which is one of the original maps. It is like lost a lot of the crap narrative (laughs) that was there where you have heaps of weird characters and bonuses. Mm -hmm. It's just like you... And th- up to three other people just surviving and exploring a map that opens up. You're a wave mode fiend. I love the wave modes. Yeah. And this is back to core wave mode. That's literally all I'll say about it because I, I, I'm going to play more of it and explore that. And then Warzone is still essentially the previous, uh, the previous game. I know I mentioned I was a bit cur- curious about how this works. You basically boot up Warzone. It takes you into Modern Warfare yeah. or the Modern Warfare build and you go straight into that. Rumor is that in the next month or so, we'll have some update to Warzone's map features, something that mm. maybe tie a bit of Black Ops Cold War into it. That's a like rumor I'm speculating from piecing bits together online. So right now that is still the same game it is and I will yeah, keep right. playing that because the draw card is like the multiplayer in yeah, I suppose ops. like they would be eating their own lunch yeah. to get people playing. But yeah, interesting. Okay. So cool. um, yeah, that's the other modes in it. And yeah. Uh, and the final thing is that in the PS5, I do really like the triggers. <laughs> the, <laughs> the adaptive controller, all the different feel of those guns and the way yeah. like you spoke about earlier, uh, that works really well in this game. And I and it, for me, that was the like draw was like trying d- as many weapons as possible. Because totally. of that. Uh, let us know what you think about Call of Duty in the comments of the YouTube video. And if you have more opinions, then talk them in the Discord head to patreon.com forward slash back pocket to become a member of the community and get access to that sweet sweet discord love discord love